last night in basketball. This series has gone down to the wire. The air is thick with excitement and anticipation. Welcome, everyone, to NBA Finals Game 7. Winner take all. A season of joy and pain will end here tonight. And thank you for making us part of your night on 2K Sports. You look at the Clippers. Well, folks, it's come down to four quarters of basketball. And, guys, the NBA championship hangs in the balance of a 3-3 tie NBA final series. What a game we're going to have coming up. Well, Kevin, they've battled to get here all season. And maybe it's taking them longer than they would have liked to in the finals, having to go all the way to game seven. But here they are at home in front of a crowd that is just going insane four quarters from the title. And now it's about centering themselves, staying focused, and keeping themselves in the moment, not allowing the emotion, the electricity, the buzz, and the energy that's going through this building right now to affect them. Because believe me, this is an emotional crowd. They're even more fired up than I anticipated they would be. All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. On the court for the Hornets. Walker runs the point with Stevenson flanking him. Kid Gilchrist and Vonley at the forwards. And it's Mozgov in at the five spot. Stevenson drives in. Again, the Hornets score. Well, nice way there to get your first basket of the game. The Clippers have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. The shot's good from Paul. Here's Walker. They can trade two for one here. Yeah, that's the right move. They get a good possession here, play defense, and get one more opportunity to score. Here's Stevenson. The pit gave him all the room he needed, and he knocks down the J. Defense just has to fight over the top of those screens, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, he doesn't miss too many open shots. Shot's good. A good open look, and he splashes home the three. Hornets have gone 4-4 four four to start, so a nice offensive rhythm to start here. Here's Breskov. The defense just couldn't recover in time. Yeah, the D pretty much went brain neutral on that one, Clark. Wouldn't, wouldn't yes, you? Yes, sir. I, I like that phrase. Yeah, I don't use that phrase very often, but to me, that's what happened. He uh, shifted the, the brain into neutral. Yes, he did. <laughs> that was embarrassing. <laughs> Stevenson drives in, and yes, sir, that one drops. Well, you just can't give them that kind of position in the post. I'll tell you what, when he gets it in that tight, he's going to bury those. Here's Griffin, and that's going to be a travel. Here's Stevenson. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Clippers lead by three. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. And welcome back to this Game 7 as we get ready to get back into the action. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Clippers. Now, they didn't waste any time getting into a groove out there. They're dialed in from long range. The other thing they've had going for them tonight is their passing. I mean, doing a nice job. Plenty of their points early on coming yeah. off assists. So on the floor for Charlotte to start this second quarter. Kid Gilchrist and Vonley at the forwards. And Stevenson is out there with Patrick Beverly. And it's Zeller in the pivot spot, manning the middle. Now here's Stevenson. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Stevenson's got six points. It is so hard to contain him. He just seems to get it done however he has to do it. A nice shot by Tucker. You know, defensively, you cannot forget about him. He gave him a wide open look there. Here's Beverly. And Kid Gilchrist hits to Beverly. Stevenson outside. Another miss by Stevenson. Clippers leading by six. Here's Alvarado. Again, Los Angeles. And their field goal percentage continues to climb. They've really shot the ball well here today so far. Yeah, and it's all about quality shot selection, smart shot selection. They've been very patient on offense. And here we go. And he caps off the fast break with a monster slam. And unfortunately, we've seen a few too many of those. A lack of concentration and alertness, a turnover, and an easy bucket the other way in transition. And if we see a few more of them, this game could be in danger of getting out of hand quickly. Both teams decided to change it up. 35 seconds left in the first half of the game. Walker goes in. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. That's good from Kemba Walker. 
So he gets them both. And at the free throw line, it's all about consistency with him. Same routine, same stroke. And Tucker kicks to Ginobili. Pass to Tucker. Let's it go from deep. And there's Ginobili. That's good on the assist from Tucker. Ginobili's got five now. Wow, what an incredible run they're on. This is as good an offense as you will see. Well, every single guy on the floor right now just feeling it. Passes it to Harrison. His three-pointers off the mark. And so that's the end of the first half. The Clippers on top, up by 11. We'll be back shortly live from Staples Center in down. Welcome back to our coverage of the NBA Finals. More action straight ahead. It's been a clinic by Chris Paul. How about the opening half of basketball? He played so much riding on this game, and he came out and took immediate control. And that's part of what makes him special. In big games, he lays it all out there. He wants to be the one to win it or lose it for him. Blake Griffin down low and DeAndre Jordan. Paul out there with Ginobili, and it's McDermott in at the three star. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. That one goes. Come on. Guys, it's a one-man show out there. I mean, he looks like he's willing to handle all of the offensive duties for his team. Here's Walker. Soft touch off the glass. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Yep, that's five of their last six baskets inside the lane. They have really established themselves inside. I like the offensive awareness to exploit that lack of coverage on that play. With a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. It's a good thing he showed up today because without him, this team would be in big trouble. McDermott, good, and Paul gets the assist. McDermott's got five. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any agenda. It's hard to overstate all the points they've scored on assist today. Beautiful to watch. Onlay kicks to Walker, and it's Kid Gilchrist penetrating. Look at that effort and energy as he creates the second chance and then converts. He, he doesn't just convert, Clark. He converts with maximum force. <laughs> he can give lessons on the art of offensive rebounding. A large part of what they've been able to do here is centered around his offense. That one's good, and the Clipper lead is cut down now to just 10 on the basket from Stevenson. They've got to continue to put pressure on the defense by probing inside. That's what's really working for them. And when you're doing the job they are inside, it takes pressure off the perimeter guys. He feeds it to Mazda, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. A long wind-up and a strong follow-through on that one hand jam. He's not going to mess that one up for sure. No, that's too easy for him. Buried from outside. But I don't know. I think we may see a review here. That was pretty close. And not so fast. The officials are going to check that shot again and make sure they got it right before we go to the fourth. When it comes down to a championship being on the line, you don't even question going to the instant replay here. It's a done deal. You got to do it. Yeah, you can see this review coming a mile away. The release just so close to that final tick. Talk about suspense right now. Everybody just anxious to find out the result. And they're going to count it. They're overturning the original call after looking at the replay. Yeah, good to see them get that one right. That's exactly why we have this rule in place. And I like it. Each basket is so important in these games that uh, you just got to make sure you get it right at the end of the quarter. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Clippers lead by 13. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this.
And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. Well, it had to be this play, don't you think, Kevin? Yeah, sure. This is just a phenomenal pass. Made the defense look like had no idea what was going on. What precision at that pass. Beautiful. Here's Paul and Charlotte looking at who they've got. They've got Hairston. Von Lades out there with Zeller. And it's Mills. And it's Beverly in at the two-guard spot. On left of the wing. Puts up a three. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Ten points for Noah Von Lade. Now Sometimes offensive rebounds are lucky, but he anticipates and gets to the right spot before the shot goes up. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. You know, it's really hard not to notice the difference in the passing of these two teams today. Yeah, look at the discrepancy in this, the assist column between these two teams. And that one's good. Beverly. Los Angeles leading by 13. Tucker dishes to Griffin. A tad short, but it's good off the front iron. Griffin's got four points now in the quarter. And that's going to be the end of an epic journey taken by both teams, really, in unbelievable fashion. Get the NBA championship crowns ready for Los Angeles. In the end, they had a better shooting percentage, and that's what made the difference. Sometimes, you know, Clark, things go your way. The other team wasn't catching any lucky breaks themselves. Well, that's more than luck, Kevin. I think the shot selection was good, too. Beyond the actual result of this game, I think fans are going to look back and see this was just a monstrous performance for Chris Paul. Every time he shot it, seemed like it was just going to drop in, and nobody was surprised. And another three for the Clippers. He's a big reason why they have the lead right now. He's made all of his field goal attempts thus far and remains hot from the floor. Charlotte calls timeout. They trail by 15. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Nene, he's checked in for Charlotte. Dunleavy comes in for Patrick Beverly. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. The pass to Harrison. But three, that's good. It's interesting. They're like a different team now. Suddenly, they've got energy. You know, it's not going to change anything, though, other than to make their losing margin a little more respectable. Reyes. Yes, and it's Blake picking up the assist. And the Clippers lead by 15. And they're not finished yet. They're going to make sure about this win. Yeah, that's how you close out a game, Steve. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. There's 31 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Reyes. Bounces high yeah. off the rim and drops. We got a few pretty good about this win tonight, guys. Defending their home floor. Yeah, and just riding it out here now. I mean, they gave the fans what they wanted. And he gets the bucket. 17 seconds left in the game. Well, for the Clippers, they can just run out the clock. And another three for the Clippers. And tack on a few more points to the lead. Why not? I suppose this is an emphatic showing for this club. And, Steve, they did it in style. A beat down the entire way. Right wing near the three-point line. It's done leaving offline. And the Los Angeles Clippers are your new NBA champions. Well, they did it. And as they celebrate, you can just see the relief, the exhilaration that come with winning it all. And Clark, to have to hand it to the entire organization, they work together to get right here. And what better way, Kevin, to give back to the loyal fans of this franchise than to finish out this series, this whole playoff run, actually. What a night. And we have enjoyed our time with you folks all season long. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long. Have a wonderful summer.
Chase, but they just won't sit I know you love me, you don't know what you like 